kuchi chaguliya kuchi chaguliya kuchi chaguliya kuchi chaguliya kuchi chaguliya kuchi chaguliya Betty Shabazz International Charter Schools is a network of schools that all focus on African-centered education. And given the fact that that's not something that's typical within the public school setting, we saw fit to put together an orientation video so when we receive new students or when we hire new staff members, we can give them an overview of the things that make us unique and, and the ways that we're different from the typical school setting, but also to help them feel more comfortable fitting into our school environment. Our goal is to prepare our children to be of service to their community. And by community, we are speaking of their family um, community, their uh, local community, and the international community at large. Our mission is to make sure that we have uh, students that have a sense of social responsibility and are clear that as Af children of African descent, that there is um, a responsibility that goes along with that. Throughout the network, we, we rely heavily on African symbolism. Symbols are a big part of African culture and tradition, and symbols are, are human culture and tradition. Throughout the world, people have symbols to represent those things that they find most important or significant within their culture. So for each of our schools and for the network at large, we have African symbols that speak to our uh, goals, our ambitions, our beliefs, and what it is that we're trying to communicate to our young people through education. Betty Shabazz International Charter School is a network of charter schools comprised of two separate campuses, the Barbara A. Sizemore campus and the Betty Shabazz Academy campus. Within the network, we have three symbols. The first symbol represents the network as a whole, and each campus has a symbol of its own. The symbol for the network is called Sankofa. It's an Adinkra symbol out of Ghana, West Africa. The symbol is of a bird with its head turned backwards, reaching back to an egg that's resting in its wings. And it signifies looking back to the past in order to move forward into the future, which is the premise which this network was started on. In order to help our young people move forward into the future, we need to equip them with the lessons learned by their ancestors so many generations ago. And that's why we chose the symbol of Sankofa to represent our network. Betty Shabazz Academy is our flagship campus. Its symbol is called Chawara, and it comes from Mali. The symbol is of an antelope with a young antelope on its back and it's a symbol of nurturance and parenting, which is how we see ourselves as educators at the school. Each of our students, Wanafunzi, or our children, Watoto, we consider to be the same as our own children, and they see us as their mamas and babas, or mothers and fathers. So this symbol represents the relationship that the adults have with the young people at the school. Here in this black American school, Betty Shabazz, it's a deeper bond. It's like a father and son bond, and you can't break the bond because it's a great bond unlike a CPS school. But yes, come to school, learn, and go back home. Or you come to Betty Shabazz, you come to school, learn, bond, have a friendship and talk and everything, have a lunch with your, even with your teacher. And when you go home, you feel much better because you know that you can communicate with your teacher better. 
it's like they they family like we all family here it's like one big household full of kids at our barbara a sizemore academy campus or basa the symbol is esse ne te crema which is an adinkra symbol from west africa and it represents the teeth and the tongue because e even though the teeth and the tongue play independent roles in the mouth, they may come into conflict, but they need to work together. And this is why we chose this symbol to encourage our students to get beyond their differences and learn to work together in order to achieve their common goal. Betty Shabazz International Charter School, also known as B6, is the Children's Educational Division of the Institute of Positive Education. B6 is an educational institution dedicated to the academic and cultural development of black children. The mission of Betty Shabazz International Charter School is to provide an African-oriented, real-world learning environment where cultural knowledge is integrated with reading, oral and written language, mathematics, science, technology, social studies, and the humanities to improve the academic, social, and emotional competencies of every student. We also work to enhance students' capacities to serve as responsible members of their communities and productive citizens of the world. B6 has the Institute for Positive Education, also known as EPE, as its parent organization. EPE is a grassroots institution that got its start in the early 1970s as a storefront community development organization and a preschool called New Concept Development Center. Over time, New Concept developed into a private school serving students from pre-K through sixth grade. In 1994, after EPE acquired its first school building, New Concept Development Center came to be known as New Concept School. Today it is called New Concept Preschool. In 1998, members of the EPE organization received charter school status through Chicago Public Schools and founded Betty Shabazz International Charter School. In 2005, two other schools were instituted, thereby establishing B6 as a charter network. One was a K-8 elementary school, Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, also known as BASA. The other was a high school, DuSable Leadership Academy, also known as DLA. And the name of the K-8 flagship school was changed to Betty Shabazz Academy, BSA. Each morning, B6 campuses begin their school day with the ritual known as Opening Unity Circle, or Morning Circle. During this time, all members of the school community join together in a circle to perform morning rituals that involve singing, drumming, school pledges, and morning announcements. There are also acknowledgments of accomplishments, the welcoming of distinguished guests, and weekly birthday celebrations. Help me realize is that our people went through a struggle for us to get here, and the struggles that they went through made them who we are, what we are, made us strong, made us powerful. And everyone I say that I feel powerful and I feel strong. Well, to me, the pledge is important because it's something that we, if we, if we um get get to do every day. You know, every every kid that goes here likes. It likes likes to um say it and, and plus they and plus they own up to 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 what the players are saying.
before students eat lunch, there is um, um, a pledge that goes along with that <clears throat> to remind them that they are eating for the purpose of making their bodies strong and that they're um, eating foods that are healthy for their bodies, um, again, for the purpose of making themselves strong. We serve healthy vegetarian breakfast and lunch daily. While this choice is more costly and time consuming than non-vegetarian meals, B6 has committed to sustaining these efforts in order to provide a more holistically healthy experience. All students are encouraged to participate in our lunch program. However, if parents choose to send lunches, we require that they are vegetarian and encourage a healthy and balanced diet. If a student brings a non-vegetarian lunch, staff should offer the student a school lunch and send the non-vegetarian lunch home with the student at the end of the day. We respectfully ask that families exclude junk foods, sweets, and foods high in sodium from their children's lunch meal. At the end of the school day, B6 campuses also conduct a closing unity circle. The point of this gathering is to end each school day in unity and solidarity. Throughout the African continent, sacred ceremonies and important events are preceded by a ritual known as the pouring of libation. This is a symbolically sacrificial act of thanksgiving performed by an adult member of the group who is authorized by the group's elders to speak on the group's behalf. The ritual is intended to express gratitude for and acknowledgement of ancestral figures whose past deeds contributed to the well-being of the people. During this ritual, the names and accomplishments of various ancestors are spoken before the group and, as their spirits are called forth to drink, water, representing substance, is poured onto a plant, signifying life. If no plant is available or if some other liquid is used, the drink may be poured on the ground or soil as an offering to those ancestors who live on in our memories. The pouring of the drink is also intended to serve as an act of reciprocity, performed under the assumption that one day others will see fit to keep our memories alive once we too have transitioned into the afterlife. The overall purpose of the ritual is to express gratitude for the spiritual support, protection, and guidance that the ancestors have provided us in the past in hopes that they will continue to do so in the future. We call you to acknowledge you for your sacrifice, struggle, and commitment for your contribution to the continuous of our line and lineage, for your support of us and all that we've done that is righteous and good. We ask for your continued blessing, guidance, and protection. We ask that you come forth now, get your drink, and walk with us. I share. As in life, individuals undergo a series of transitions known as passages. In a passage, a person leaves one group and becomes a member of another group. B6 recognizes the additional responsibilities as well as the privileges that accompany the transitions that our children make during their years with us with various rights, acts, and procedures. In addition to acknowledging these transitions to be discussed later, we celebrate two important milestones, the transition from preschoolers to school-aged children and the transition from elementary school to high school. In addition to being part of the rites of passage ceremonies, at the end of each school year, a ritual is held to move students from one grade level to the next. 
It includes an opportunity for students to meet with their new teacher and hear his or her expectations for the next grade level. To assist our Watoto in the development of their ability to maintain strong interpersonal relationships, we promote and practice the ancient cardinal virtues of Ma'at, which are order, harmony, balance, truth, reciprocity, justice, and propriety. In order to prepare them to practice family, community, and nation building, we promote and practice the Nguzo Saba, or the Seven Principles which are Umoja, Unity, Kujichagalia, Self-Determination, Ujima, Collective Work and Responsibility, Ujima, Cooperative Economics, Nia, Purpose, Kuumba, Creativity, and Imani, Faith. So from the way we dress, uh, our uniforms, colors, red, black, and green, the building. As soon as you enter any of our schools, you immediately recognize African symbols, pictures of African ancestors. Uh, our young people are dressed either in the red, black, and green uniform, or they may have on African garb. Both are considered to be un uh, acceptable uniforms. And we make sure that we encourage our young people to embrace who they are and where they come from through the way they look, through the way they talk, through the way they uh, decorate their surroundings and their homes and their schools. And so this is all a part of our cultural expression and we think that it's important in helping these young people recognize that uh, being African is a good thing and it's something that we are proud of and that we embrace and we have no apologies for. We are unapologetically African people. Well, there are a couple of stances that our children take um, to acknowledge um, that they're giving attention. Um, one called Angalia, where their arms are folded, another NJ with their hands behind them. Um, again, both to acknowledge that they are receiving information or receptive to receiving information. When our students are in class, for example, if an elder enters, uh, there's a process for greeting that elder and bringing them or welcoming them into the classroom community, um, as well as um, acknowledging and speaking with their elders as they move throughout the building. Moja, unity. Abari Gani Bakwa, Nina Kura Kuta Nawe. So, on behalf of Betty Shabazz International Charter School, we would like to welcome you to our village. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to any part, anybody in the village, and we will definitely help you with whatever you need help with. Once again, welcome and thank you.